Hi guys! Hey Summers! Welcome to Make 2 and an original house design in Sims 4. Today we're looking at this beautiful river cottage right by our river next to the Neeson house. That is a nice view actually. Can you look at that view again? I mean, you know, minus All the, way the down industrial, to the industrial but still, mm. like, this is really nice. Yeah, so we had a plot of land where, at, I think this is the first, or well, the first house we played in yeah. with a character called Bo and then Beth who moved out. And I was inspired, because it's by the river, to try and remake in The Sims 4 a house that I'd made in my Minecraft Pocket Edition creative world. I didn't do the design completely myself, I did look at some pictures online for it, but I thought, it's a really nice design, why don't I try and do it in The Sims 4? So I rebuilt Bo's house completely from scratch to turn it into this beautiful river cottage, river cabin. Cool. Yeah. Now it's just one story above ground, it does have a basement, a special basement as well that we'll get to, but I just really like the lines of it, like it's got this, excuse me, it's got this roof that extends over, so yeah. you've got like a walk around uh, covered patio all the way around, and the house inside is actually just pretty small, but it's got some nice features, it's got, what's this thing called, is this the it's spandrel? Like spandrel, yeah. This is a spandrel that doesn't connect to anything, it's got some pillars, some strange shape for the patio where Bo and his friends can sit some plants over here where he can do some painting of this beautiful view and at the back here more place to sit because there's no front door the front door is actually at the back so he can see the river so he's very antisocial in this house basically. <laughs> yeah this is is more like a house you can imagine being somewhere in the middle of the woods or yeah. the middle of the <laughs> desert not on a busy street with lots of houses yeah i like this little bit here where i <laughs> where I put some flowers in the middle of this wall hole here. I thought that looked pretty well. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, I just really like the quirkiness of the shape, but it's still pretty modern as my builds, most of my builds are to date. So let's now go and take a look inside. We're now inside, and this is a house with a few surprises that we'll see as we look around. But basically it's just one big room, and it's kind of like, a, I guess, a studio apartment. So you have lots of windows all the way around. You have the kitchen here, which is just pretty simple. There's a wood fire stove, which of course makes sense because it's by the river. I really like the look of this stove. It's I love really the nice. logs underneath. And if you notice outside, there was a, a pile of log thing as well. I did. I really like this wood panel as well. You, you have used this and I thought, oh, I really want to use that as well. Got the wall stereo and wall TV to save space because this is a very small very small room. You can see here it's just got a very basic main room. It's just got space for a sofa, very close to the TV, maybe a bit too close now actually, and some table and chairs. And here we have a bed and a bedside table. Back here we have the bathroom. Is that bookcase? That's a, oh, okay, That's a I bookcase see. door we're going to get to in a minute. Yep. Here is the tiny bathroom, which I think it's like three by two and a little bit. And then yeah, if you go through the bookcase door, you get to this super skinny area. And let me put the walls down. Because what I wanted from the outside was to have this spine going all the way along the edge of the house, which was one block thick. So it's like a really thick, chunky wall. And I actually thought, well, it's a room and you can see it in most views. So why not do something with it? Mm -hmm. So the back here, here is the walk-in wardrobe area. And he can reach all this, even going past the coats and stuff. And back here is just a little computer desk. So he can also go in here and do his work or surf the internet. I think that works really well with using a counter and counter stool. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I think, yeah, it's just good use of space for something that is, is very minimal, small living. Also, all of this, of course, I think keeps the cost down. I'm hoping this house is not going to be very expensive. As with our other bills, we will eventually put it up on the gallery. And I hope that for sort of starter homes, it actually won't be that much. But you can see here, I put the walls up, you can see there's like a fake wall here or a, a part wall here, and then behind it there's just a gap. If you go down, there's some stairs down, and this is our basement that I mentioned before, and this definitely puts the price up, because this is not just a river cottage, this is a river cottage with an emergency bunker in it. <laughs> <laughs> like a panic room. Yeah, like a panic room, or an apocalypse room. <laughs> uh, it's, it's got like a weird shape from up top, because, I don't know, I like doing weird shapes in basements for some reason, the same with the Neeson house. Yeah, I mean, you've got... Like, I think because you've got this, like, black screen, yeah. it encourages you to, like, go crazy with the layouts and yeah. shapes. So you come down, oops, you come down here, these stairs, and there is 
air vents all over the place because you've got to make sure you have clean air if you're in your panic room because who knows how long you'll be down. Therefore, there's also a very high-tech... Decontamination shower. Yeah, decontamination shower. So if you want to get clean before you enter the panic room, this is where you do it. Yeah, say the world ended from radiation or something. And then we've just unlocked these gates from being a detective. So put one of these gates up. I think you can unlock it to get in. I don't know how you get out, but (laughs) it looks good anyway, so I'm not going to... Don't need to worry about fine details like that. And there's another door behind it. Yeah. And yeah, there's another door behind it. You can see the lights, all these very industrial lights, which again, unlocked by playing the detective hobby in, in Get to Work. Career. Yeah, detective career. <laughs> and then you enter the room here, and this has two bunks. Mm-hmm. So it could be for two people. You can see right in the middle of the room, you've got this massive air extractor, air filter as well. On the floor, there's like a sluicing grate, so if anything leaks or spills, it just you just mop it down the floor and it goes away to who knows where. For each bed, they have a little bedside table with, during the apocalypse, you're going to need your absolute essentials with you. So they each have their essentials with them. <laughs> little talking toys, a triceratops, and over here, we have Jenny. So, <laughs> I don't know what you know, Jenny is, but okay. you've, you've got to have your creature comforts. Each bed also has a little board for putting things on so you can make it home or leave messages or maybe do some drawing on there or something. For games, there's a dartboard. (laughs) (laughs) You can see there's a hamper of clothes down here. And all around the room, you can see there are lots and lots of storage units. So lots on the wall there. This whole wall here is just floor to ceiling storage. And around here as well. And even above the door there, we have a clock as well. So... Going around from the bed area, you see in this wardrobe stuff, here is the facilities. This is what makes for a restroom (laughs) in your emergency bunker. There's a steel toilet, a mirror, a towel, and then the kitchen sink, which has to be multi-purpose in a room this big or this small. Indeed. This is also the whole kitchen area, though you imagine most of these things would probably be full of food and water rather than, you know, other things and, and stuff. But there's a microwave because there's not room for anything else. All the rations or whatever, at the very most, would need a microwave and maybe a bit of water, but nothing else. And going around, there's just some more space for maybe some fresh, fresher foods. And then just exposed ducts and pipes on the wall, because, you know, this is not supposed to be pretty. It's supposed to make sure you survive in here. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I really like the shape of it. And yeah, you've got all the creature... Well, not comforts, but like creature necessities. And I just really like how, you know, you did the version in Minecraft Pocket Edition and it looks just as good in Sims 4. You know, it's got that sleek modern look. I don't know if you had a basement in the Minecraft Pocket Edition version. No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. I told you to put a basement in, by the way, it was my idea. Yeah, yeah, this was, as with lots of our builds, we give each other critiques and hopefully try and improve our work as we go. But I like it. I especially yeah. like the structure outside. It's just very modern and, yeah, really yeah. nice. Actually, some of these little touches took a long time to do, but it was actually a lot of fun. I think it's really nice for just a small starter home. You're, you do massive builds. I just tried to do small builds. I'm not quite at the big builds yet, but I really like it, and I really like this view. I think it fits yeah. with the landscape really, really well, so yeah. I'm really happy with it. I'd love to know what you guys think, so please do let us know in the comments below what you think. As I said, it will be available on the gallery soon. We need Bo just to make sure he can live in it okay. I've tested the first floor, but I haven't tested the basement yet. So as long as he can get in, but not too easily, because I don't want his visiting sims to go and mess around with his panic room, then we'll put it up on the gallery. So check the video description for our username, Make2TV. And in the meantime, if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims 4 videos on the way. Thanks for watching.